here that you saw first on 10, a pair of women going on a shopping spree at a South Florida business with no plans to pay. Local 10's Andrew Perez live now in Margate with the video the owner wants you to see tonight. Andrew. So Calvin, first things first, if you don't know what a faja is, it's basically shapewear. These women went way out of their way to steal thousands of dollars worth of fajas and they did it by stuffing them down their skirts. An oversized skirt and five sticky fingers. They think they're slick taking waist trainers, stuffing jeans and several fajas. They even saw the camera right above them, but they just didn't really even care. Alvin Bordeaux couldn't believe it. He says his father-in-law was working when Tweedledee and Tweedledum here waltzed on in, insisting they didn't need help. Augusto Spina tells us in Spanish he didn't realize it at the time, but it's because they were helping themselves while hiding behind racks of clothing and shouting questions across the room. Cogen una prenda, se van, van con la otra mano, metiendo al bolso como si estuvieran haciendo un mercado. When they left, you know, my father-in-law looked and he noticed all the empty hangers, you know, and they ended up taking over 10 articles of clothing, um, estimated around $3,000 worth of inventory. And that's a big blow for a small business. These women roamed the store for 20 minutes. It's off West Sample Road in Margate, the Forestal store, specializing in rare Colombian fajas. At more than 100 bucks a pop, these women racked up quite a tab. The business investing every penny it makes back into itself to try and grow and expand. You know, this is a family business. Uh, my in-law started this from nothing, um, came here from another country legally, did everything the right way. They worked their butts off. They're here seven days a week. Um, so it's not something that we're going to take lightly. And the family believes these rare items, these rare brands specifically, are being resold. They are offering a reward for information leading to an arrest. If you have any information about this case, call Margate Police. Get those two off the street. That's the latest here in Margate. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Okay, hopefully they're caught. Thank you, Andrew.